I know from a social standpoint, you know, when those hairs start to be visible and you can see it just by looking at in the mirror or something like that. I know it's a little unsightly. We don't, we don't think it's a good look, so we want to trim them. But really, is waxing or tweezing your, your hair out a really good thing? But let's, we're going to get into that first thing you know. What is the hair in your nose good for? Really, basically, it's a filtration system. So I know it doesn't really filter out everything, but it does filter out the, the larger particles. And so we don't want to really get that into our bodies and sciences. You know, of course, that's what causes, causes the boogers. So, you know, it, it, it's a buildup. And that's what causes that. And of course, uh, when it comes to the longer hairs, now the long hair is actually a good thing because it's going to have more surface area and be able to filter out more things. But again, that does cause a buildup and it's two way factor. It's, it's trapping going in, but it's also going to try to trap it going out. If you notice, you know, when you try to blow your nose, you don't get it all out. You have to get your you know, finger in there. You get uh, pick, pick those boogers out. So, so that's, that's just a normal factor of having hair in our nose. So like again, it's just a filtration system. It's part of our natural cycle of our body. And you know, that's what we need to live with it. So, but really when it comes to trimming your nose hairs out, do you really want to wax it or pluck them out? So let's go ahead and get in that. So when either when it comes to plucking or even nose waxing, what you're doing is really ripping that, that hair out by the root which could really ultimately cause an infection. It could, could cause ingrown nose hairs. And that's, you know, things that you really don't want to happen. Cause I, I actually have a nose waxing video out there. I did it, I did it once, but I, I'm not gonna do it again because even after I did it, I did have a little bit of bleeding. So honestly, it did rip out all, all those hairs from the root, cause some bleeding and it could have caused an infection. I mean, luckily it did not. And I didn't get any ingrown nose hairs for it, but that's a risk you're you're doing. So, and ultimately, you know, when you wax your your uh, hairs or even pluck them out, it may could last you know three four weeks before they start coming back. But once again, you're risking that having an infection, having ingrown nose hairs. So really, the safest thing to do is just get a little pair of sweet uh, scissors and go up there and just cut all the hairs out and just the visible hairs. You really only want to worry about the visible hairs just cut those out or even a electric trimmer a nose trimmer and use that to uh trim those hairs out but ultimately we want to be able to keep those hairs in our nose because like i said that's a filtration system and the less hairs we have in there because we wax them out or tweeze them all out that's gonna be less filtration that's actually going to go up in our sciences and into our bodies where we don't really want it to go so just be mindful of that. So if you are waxing or tweezing your nose hairs out, please consider thinking about, you know, not doing that more. Cause that's just more gunk going into your body that we can leave out. And just, just remember, just take some scissors, just tweeze out those visible, uh, uh, just clip out those visible ones or use that electric, electric nose trimmer and just trim out just those visible ones. Cause like I said, we need those hairs as a filtration system in our body. So. Hope you like this video. If you want to see more, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you're just new to this channel, I do beard product reviews, tips and tricks, live streaming on my channel at, on Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern, do mustache wax reviews, do all kinds of things in here. So please uh, check around, give me a subscribe, and hit the like on the button. Leave some comments in the description below. If you have any questions, thoughts about this, this subject, then I'll be glad to look at them and answer your questions or, or thoughts. And remember, Keep your beards and stashes healthy until next video.